So, Avlo, give us a breakdown on this image, please. This is a All lot right, going on. A, that, that's a legendary Mark Gonzalez. And we Jeez. were actually in Long Beach um, for an Adidas shoot with Snoop and Mark Gonzalez, <laughs> which was crazy enough. And um, and it wasn't Long Beach, so it's sort of L.A., so I mix up. We're Randy <laughs> Donuts. So anyway, we're we're there, and and you know Mark had all this stuff for the sh for the set, kind of set up for what what they were gonna do, and then you know Mark's one of those guys that's just spontaneous goes, you know, and you kind of gotta be ready for all kinds of things. And sure enough, he comes blazing around a corner and he pops a nolly, <laughs> and got this shot, and it was just like, oh my god, it was just one again, one of those things where you like. Kind of knowing your subject and knowing yeah. the way he is and yeah, yeah. And, and you know he's one of those guys where he, he's going to do it once and that's it so yeah. i, I know, think that, that goes back to moments. like you know knowing your subjects you know whether you're shooting surf yeah. skate you know portraits yeah. models knowing your subjects how they're going to react from facial expressions to just like movements of what they do yeah. that makes a huge 100%. difference you know that john john's going to do the air in this section where you know yeah. Alex knows is going to ride the nose. If you know these things and you know your subjects, you know yeah. what's going to kind of come yeah. up and you can predict. You can yeah. be ready to compose yeah. that. You can be ready for a shot like this. And yeah. it's like that. Like you said, it, hey, he was one and done. And it's like, see ya. Like, yeah. so well, we and got that, it. And that's, that's, that's the point of, of being an action photographer and, and mm -hmm. shooting a lot of stuff like you do. Like you said, knowing yeah. exactly where these dudes, these athletes yeah. are going to be at those sweet spots of what they do. You know, and that that is one hundred percent correct on those points, and that's the thing you got to know your sport, you got to know your athlete, right? And then it goes into right. the same thing of doing the, with a subject, and and I mean, and, and it goes to all those things of uh, knowing and seeing what they're doing. Are, are, are you know are are they hungry? You know, do they yeah. need food? You know, yeah. all these things kind of mm -hmm. go into to once again what you're doing and and overall trying to trying to capture these these things. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Even more shots. I mean, Miss, just as a lifestyle yeah. of what you're doing and kind of creating. What was this shot on? This is shot on again, the uh, beautiful Canon AE-1. What happens? Uh, this is a, kind of a cool. I had shot a lot and, and, and then, you know, just due to, to life and I moved to California mm -hmm. and I was doing a lot of stuff. I kind of had to brought, busted out my camera in a while and mm -hmm. I was going to go to Europe. And I remember just going like, oh, my God, I'm going to Europe. I got to I got to shoot, you know, I got to shoot some <laughs> stuff. So I bust out the old A1. And sure enough, this was wow. on a, a tour. And this was Matt Hensley. And we were uh, in Germany at this point. And, yeah, he was super into pool. And so we went to a pool hall to play pool. And, yeah, it was just one of those moments of, you know, just, just, just. Being in it. the moment, that's, that's really. That's also, too, yeah. yeah, being in the moment and. Yeah. Once again, knowing your subject and, mm -hmm. you know, not not being afraid to shoot. That's also the Absolutely. point of like, you know, a, a lot of things with photography and, you know, is is you got to, you know, kind of stand up for all those things because it, it if people respect what you do and they respect what you're doing, that that allows you to have that. And that's, again, right. knowing like kind of like, oh, the camera's gone. You know, mm -hmm. where where it's not gone and it's there to document a moment, which it's, you know, I love these types of things where it's like, you know, you captured something that's 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 forever and you have it and it can relive mm. that moment of like, yeah, I remember drinking German Cokes and mm. being like, well, this doesn't taste the same, you know, but I, that's funny how really photos nice. transport us back to those moments. And I think that's yeah. what I love so much about photography. You know, sometimes you're not like this is the craziest, like best, like that. I, I mean, but it's the moment. Yeah. And when I see yeah. it and I look yeah. at it, I'm like, that takes me back yeah. to it. And like the story to get yeah. there, the time, the obstacles we overcame and everything we did, that's what makes yeah. a photo to me what I love. Yeah. And that to me is yeah. why I love photography, you know? And so, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. oh, Definitely. this is a sick view. I haven't seen this view. Yeah, so this this too, this is another crazy one for me. So I grew up on right on the other side of there. I grew up in Kalama Valley. Nice. So my whole life, I learned how to start surfing right over here by Makapu. All this was like my life for, mm. for forever. I was driving around here, going to the Waimanalo to go to the market <laughs> with my mom, you know, just this whole yeah. area. But I never saw the back of the Rabbit mm. Island. I've never, never seen it from this way. <laughs> Yeah, and 
uh, long story short, a guy I grew up with, Joey, became a pilot and also a fireman, and, and he flew helicopters. And so sure enough, he's like, you want to go around the island? I got a copter and I can get you. And we can. And my whole thing is like, oh, my God, I got to shoot home from the sky. Yeah. And that was one of those things of like I'd never, ever nice. seen it from yeah. that angle. So it was just yeah. so cool to see home from above. And, right. and, and then again, you know, see, see things that your whole life you're like, whoa, you know, that yeah. was just on the other side right there and be able you know, to share that flying in and out you you see the other angle of it yeah coming on that side so you just right. didn't have that opportunity wow but, i've never seen the back end side of that it's insane that's really cool yeah Shh, tell us about this shot the because hummingbird. this is okay. <laughs> not an easy shot um i posted this we got many comments on people being like yeah. how what loving it and Everyone knows how yeah. fast these guys are. So tell us. About I was that. just going to say, right when you said I'm like the agony, man, this was, so this well, was a, a, at my old studio and, mm -hmm. and I love animals. I love birds just, and hummingbirds to me are just fascinating. They're like star Wars, you know, the way they move mm -hmm. the way. So yeah, I just got in this thing and busted out, the, you know, busted out my lens and, Mm -hmm. Every day went and, and I had a bird feeder mm -hmm. and I would post up and I literally took me about four days to shoot this, you know, and I mean, I got wow. a lot of other stuff, but it like to try and get something of like, I didn't want the bird feeder in the shot. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it sitting there and yeah, to have it. And it was one of those things too, like when you work on a shot and it, it, it takes you multiple days to get it, the reward <sighs> is just phenomenal and yeah it kind of goes yeah. the same thing of like when, when you fight for something for so long and then you for me that was mm -hmm. like it couldn't get any more perfect he was spread and, yeah. and like oh it was like but it, it you know <laughs> it was like you're not gonna get this easy yeah. man and, and frustration what did you and, shoot it with you know i shot it with a, with a cannon with a the the 200 Jeez. long lens that is you know, crazy like say, just but look at your like framing that. too. It kind of like gives it all the context and, and everything. It wasn't like you just caught him going off the side or anything like that to get one. Yeah, it, it like I said, I'd have to stand with my camera to my eye because if I held it down and waited, he, yeah. you'd never get it. So I had to right. pull through, and that's too. I get I could only shoot for so long because I yeah. get headaches from just yeah. waiting for the yeah. bird. You yeah. know, and and yeah. you would once again listen because you know your subject and you'd hear him flying that would be the first he's here and then it would be like Where's he at? And then you just, oh god you know jeez, <laughs> uh, out of mind that's awesome but rewarding you know I, absolutely rewarding and and this shot what a skate shot this is this is where this your is, career you know, really started me, this right is, this is the yeah, beginning well, and, okay. and, and this to me was once again why i picked up a camera and 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 you know once again the beautiful good old canon 81 mm -hmm. was this era when i started i was surf first i was surfing and and i was kind of you know shop sponsored for surfing yeah and then skating came in and skating was like such a kind of a huge thing for me and then i met christian during this time period and so it was just like this kind of over Overwhelming thing that just kind of took over me and then that was the point of like I know I'm around all these people that are Important and I know this is important and that's the thing. This is my home spot off the walls Which is actually right behind Sandy Beach. Nice in the Valley So it was one of these things of like and, and even at this time, so, you know skateboarding in the 80s It was so mm. there wasn't all these videos. There wasn't all these mags. There was Thrasher You know, it was like there was trans was very small. So these were like super unique happening. So all of a sudden, when you had Christian Asoy in your, 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 it was like, Damn. it was like, you know, all of a sudden Kobe Bryant yeah. showing up to your basketball. Yeah, of course. Thing, where you're like, of course. What the heck? Or, you know, Shane Haram. But that was the beauty yeah. for me from surfing. I knew all my surfing heroes. Right. From right off the bat, you know, and same thing with skateboarding. And so there was a, 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 no ego especially hawaii there's mm -hmm. no ego with these dudes you know and so mm -hmm. it 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 was this like okay this is where i know that the level was and then right. that was the point of like it, it it and it led me throughout everything i did where i was like you know 
I'm sh- yeah. I've shot Christian Soy. I've yeah. shot Shane Hearn. Yeah. I've shot Mark Richards. Yeah. You know, I, 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 what do I care about, you know, this celebrity? I don't, because in my world, mm-hmm. these are the biggest people that I've ever had. Absolutely. It's all snobs, yeah. this, you know, and, and yeah. it, it, it's so, That's it, interesting. It, it helped because carrying into that same thing of once again, I started shooting celebrities and all this stuff, you know, a lot of action sport, huge sport, ball sport. And then now the thing for me, I, shit sorry to say but i did i did <laughs> you are you you yeah especially coming from hawaii and where we're from you got to earn respect on all levels so you walk into a room ta da ta da ta da it's like you know and i saw that same thing with photography because there was a point when i was shooting video mm. and i was shooting video along these photographers i was still shooting photos but at that job i was hired as a video guy and I saw these professional photographers and I saw the way they worked and the way they just like handed off their cameras to their assistants. And they were super like egotistical and very harsh on models and making people cry. And just like, and I was like, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. We're all human. Those were things that really (laughs) helped me. Yeah. And and especially with photography, it's like, I'm shooting the same Roxy girls. And I'm from Hawaii and there's a rad love and respect and they're longboards and there's this rad camaraderie. And then here's this big time photographer woman making them cry. And it's like, yeah. oh, you know, but the difference of what I was getting compared to what she was getting. And that's where I'm like, why aren't you being nice? You know, and yeah. that kind of goes in play with everything else, you know? And, yeah. and I think it's just the respect that if you can carry that on, absolutely, you know, you can carry it through, you know, so. Right. And that's like I said, Christian and I've been friends Whew. since the eighties and our relationships and we've been yeah. together from you know, all these times and that's what's great. We're together now with Ruka and it's been like that and it's 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 Love funny it. how things can go full, full circle. circle. Like I said, yeah. being on a top with Canon, shooting this photo with a Canon, <laughs> you know, being with you, another I love that photo. It's it's a it's a it's, rad thing. It's such a moment. Well I'm so we're stoked to have you here and see these images oh, and thank you hear these stories because this is just you know another thing and again between sets is for the people that inspire me this is for me to be able to share through my eyes these people that help to shape my photography and seeing what you do here is just i love it so thank you for being here again you know it's also too i think a a a a cool thing with because the Mm. same and that's what's to, to let all the viewers know I feel the same way about you. I'm in awe of <laughs> you. you. That's the beauty in coming from, and that's the point. Like yeah. I'm like, you're the water dude. Like, dude, there's the yeah. the, the, and I grew up in Sandy's, you know. So yeah, uh, you know, I have this whole yeah. thing there, and that's the thing. Seeing what you do, and, and and in your world, and what you're you're carrying on to me too is mm-hmm. so inspirational to me, and Thank pushes you. me, and and is like. You know, but Sam, it's it's a pride, and I'm stoked for Hawaii, and you know, I'm stoked yeah. for you, and you Thank know, you. cool, and that's Thank great. You it's rad to be on platforms like this that can recognize. Mm. So, well, we appreciate yeah. it, and we got some yeah. some yeah. more images to go through. I love the just yeah. the use of the space you did here by putting him in the clouds. You kind of just set him right over there, and I think you know, guys, shooting skate, and and Mark obviously can attest to this greatly. Is like. A lot of these times when you're doing the airs or the different tricks like that, it's 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 your composition, it's the uh, the height that you're shooting that can really make or break yeah. some of these images because separating yeah. your subject from the background or the clouds or the sky or anything like that can really make or break an image, right? I mean, talk. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Of well, just yeah, your composition that, like on the some of these. The thing with skating is is if you don't have the takeoff and landing point in the shot. It's gotcha. not legit. Oh, okay. So that's okay. always the thing on skating. If you don't, yeah. because you don't know how high this guy went and you don't right. fabricate it. We're also in skating. You don't show bales. That's like, like, and that was a taboo. You know, the difference yeah. serving and skating where it's like, yeah. no, in skating, you don't show it unless you make it, you know? So it's, it's, it's kind of a different world, but I always look same thing. You know, surfing was definitely the big brother skateboarding is mm. the little brother you know mm. and and, and I, I feel like a lot of skate they, trick names though like air names came to surfing though i guess in that sense though yeah. right like well, well, you saw I a lot of like the, the inspirations air... and and connections i mean then even came yeah. like snowboarding and that was such a cool yeah. like correlation of those where like you know they're all board sports and the grabs yeah. and the tricks and those things like yeah. that was such a cool thing to have that intersection yeah. um of those yeah. tricks yeah 
Yeah, you know? and it, it, it's it's the intersection, and also now it's it's back again. Where when I once again when I when, but I come from Y, but in the eighties when I was surfing. Mm-hmm. We were also skating. We did all of it. We surf skated. We were like surf skate. That was the whole thing. And it was all emulating the beginning is emulating surfing, trying to get bro by the nice. bush, trying to do the driveway nice. when it's when it's shitty, you skated. Yeah. But we took it yeah. further and again, you know, it was like doing the tricks and doing all that stuff. But that so was sick. the whole thing of style and grabs was everything mm-hmm. was again tough knee grabbing like you wanted to mm-hmm. be like Bertelman, you wanted to be you yeah. know, like like yeah. these dudes and that's what you did you want to be like jay you you you, you had to have that style and that's gotcha that came from wine surfing or or oh or i see i see it didn't carry through you know and right. that was so it, it was it was together at one point and then it yeah. grows super seven, yeah. 90s there yeah. was no like if you surf skate no love nothing and then again and then it spawned back again and it's funny because john mm. john and i remember seeing john john and nathan and i've been in the poll bowl with us on the north shore and they're all little little dudes mm-hmm. and i'm a little dude but that shows you how they are when i could go they were little dudes they, <laughs> but i remember them skating and saying this is going to change surfing mm. and and that was the whole point all the guys wow. that skate that surf can bring it to a different level that's mm. why you take christian fletcher right Christian fletcher you know you take yeah. that whole thing. yeah genre the next and then mm-hmm. and then it shifted and then now and that's like this is evan mock who again is a, is a mm-hmm. surf full skater and that's why when beautiful he has that style that's same thing when you go against a guy like dylan reader who again was an iconic style guy well dylan's father sir and dylan sir so it, it did it it put that mm-hmm. you know wow. it put a different concept where where Funny is Christian didn't surf at the time, but he emulated it so much. And that was like compared to his guy at the time, mm-hmm. was Tony Hawk, where it was just this level. And funny yeah. because Tony actually did surf, which is weird. But it, it just yeah. you had these two different styles. You know, one was tricks, tricks, tricks. And yeah. One was just making everything look beautiful. Like in this shot, Evan Same. Fox just got that style and got that. Beautiful. You know, it's got that. Yeah. And that's also yeah. too crazy enough. That's at Hawaii Kai Park, which I grew up in mm-hmm. Kai and it's funny for me to have later there becoming a park there because, you know, mm-hmm. we used to have nothing. We used to have to skate in a ditch and run from cops. And now there's parks mm-hmm. like this and it's, it's beautiful, awesome. but it also spawns these new skaters, which once again, Evan Mock yep. growing up on the North shore, yep. that park blew them up. You know? Shh. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Between Sets. Make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes. Thank you.